Welcome back guys to Final Fantasy 13 with very much story development going on between Lightning and Hope. And a lot of throwing around of his name as a whole, it really actually is kind of irritating the amount of times the characters talk about Hope. While the kid's name is Hope, right next to Hope and you're kind of like, what Hope are we talking about here? Are we talking about Hope Hope or Hope or Hope 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 Hope? And you're kind of like a bit confused, but let's kill some flans! Flans! We're gonna kill you, stop making siren noises, we're just gonna kill you and hopefully there's only two of you. Which means we can take you down nice and easy. At least we got Comrav this time. We're not. Look how badly they miss as well. Oh no, he's being rescued. Boo hoo. As soon as Hope gets his stuff together and fills up that chain gauge, things go down. Until then, I may as well just keep bashing away. And the next blitz is just gonna wipe his HP even more. I want double blitz again, sir. They can keep healing as much as they want. He's going down. It's more about dealing damage to the other guy during that time. It's all about the fact that I'm using the blitz to do it. Stagger kill. Right then. Move on past the false sea. Find out what's going to happen next. Give us At least this one only has one switch, so I can't fail like last time. Trust me when I say there was nothing more irritating than how I failed last time. It seems we've finally reached an end passageway. With save points, which I won't use, and people probably wonder why. Talk to your dad. What? Why? Fighting without hope is no way to live. It's just a way to die. I want you to find the hope you were named for. Staying alive, I can help you with. But I can't... I can't give you hope. If you go to see your father. You think meeting my dad will... will make anything better? He's never listened to a word I've said. He's just... He'll never believe all this Lassie stuff. Snow believed Sarah, didn't he? Yeah. In a recently convened emergency conference, the Sanctum announced that the fugitive Lassie have been located. The military plans to apprehend the Lassie and carry out a public execution. These images coming to you live from the scene in Palampolo. These are Lassie. Show no mercy. They aren't people. Their targets. Start running. What? I'll keep them busy. But you survive. Some crowd. I'm gonna need a plan. <laughs> I... Since when have heroes ever needed plans?
this up! Whoa. Take care of him. Lightning, listen to me. Get moving. No, no, you don't understand. Sarah's all right. She'll turn back. Take care of Hope. Wait! And then they were three. <laughs> Gotta go! So how you been? He says, we've got people to fight. Quick, let's do spin freeze. And a, and a wheelie, we'll pop a wheelie in your face. And then we'll ice cold drift you. Oh, ice cold drifting. Pretty good. Pretty, make a ramp. Okay, that's uh, okay. We, we really should do like, stuff like ice cold drift. It seems to work the best. It goes through literally every single one of them after all. we got diamond dust level three. We've still got one to go, it seems. A bit on one-on-one -on -one action. Probably time to scan him, in fact. Snow himself probably doesn't actually have that many rolls or anything right now, because, of course, we haven't leveled him up in ages. We haven't done anything good yet. We do have a Ravager, though. Stop dodging, sir. It doesn't really look like we're going to be able to build this up nice and fast. So maybe the way to do this is to go for a second summon. At the moment, he's taking more HP off us than we are taking off him by a fair chunk. It's more the fact that the massive dodges he does. Ho! In fact, we went down. No, not yet. So it might be the funny thing is that I have to double summon, which seems a bit anticlimactic, you could say. But we're allowed to check his paradigms now and all that. I'll level him up to where he should be because he's got a load of CP, an absolute gallon of the stuff. Oh my god, and I've completely lost my orientation with this thing. Right then. For some reason his levels cost a load, but he gets abilities right off the bat. Adrenaline, more HP, more strength. Oh, he levels up well. Give him some more offensive abilities. So a double summon would have worked there, but it just feels a bit lame to use a summon right after a summon. I don't know about you when you use summons in games, uh, summons in Final Fantasies, if you felt like it was cheap to do it certain ways, like keep summoning all that. Like Final Fantasy VIII, for example, I chose not to use summons, more or less. 
apart from their functioning, uh, their junctioning even abilities, it felt a bit wrong <laughs> in the oddest way possible. Accessory slot. We're dodging the ability there because it's sentinel ability. In fact, I think we can actually learn everything. It's a quake, in fact. It's nothing super useful. Now we have hope built up, or snow built up, to his highest level right now. And if we... Ooh, a spark ring could be good. Is there anything better than a spark ring? We have... Fullman ring. And that could help in that little fight quite a bit. So here we go, round two. So we built up his chain gauge pretty well. But it goes away as soon as the summons go away as well, but now look at the damage we're doing. We actually can face this guy one on one. This guy's got nothing on snow now. It's just beforehand, he was a bit of a handful. Not much damage at all. So if he can dodge that final blow pretty well. Of course he can completely miss that blow. If you know what I mean, the summons in this game so far seem pretty underwhelming damage wise. We never actually killed off a full pack. There's always enemies to kill left over in the end. Are you going to constantly cast that ability despite the fact that I'm out of range at times? Oh, we nearly got you now sir. Can you reach us? No, you can't again. And we get in the second time round, which is lucky, I guess. That first time did not bode well at all. What's up? Where have you been? <laughs> I got taken in. Wait, what? Not by enemies. It was the cavalry, not Psycom. Leader's name is Reigns. He said he'd lend us Lysia a hand. So now, your hero is back. Why would the army help us? That doesn't make sense. The military's got all kinds. Not all of them like the Sanctum. Don't worry. I'll handle the bad guys. Come on. Okay, Snow has access to the Sentinel role. Sentinel is a defense specialist. By drawing enemy attacks and mitigating the damage via defensive abilities, they are able to protect the other members of their battle team. A Sentinel's abilities are essential when it comes to protecting battle team members with low HP like Hope. Draw enemy aggression away from allies with a provoke ability while defending with Steel Guard to minimize damage to weaker party members. Sentinels cannot use the attack command, but they can still damage enemies. Select the Vendetta ability and the Sentinel will counterattack enemies when attacked. Sentinels are at their best against numerous opponents when they can use their defensive abilities to shield allies while dealing damage via counterattacks. They become less effective when only a few enemies remain. At that point, it is best to turn Sentinels into commandos in order to finish off remaining enemies more quickly. So kind of a way, a different way to fight. We haven't had Sentinels up till now. Yes, my ice tracks are my Lucy power, I'm afraid. I'm really good at ice tracks. But I think we actually fully leveled up Snow, didn't we? We had no problem filling up his Crystallium Gauge, no problem at all. So we're just left with our abilities here, I guess. What, mad HP for Madge? Let's make him not so low HP to start off with. So this is going to be a little bit of a different dynamic. We're going to be using the Sentinel roll to get rid of people as much as possible. Or at least to stop the damage going to Hope. But if the damage isn't going on Hope in the first place, then we could just be all that offensive, which is just as good. Kill the Bombardier. His name and his kind of rank at the back there seems special enough. He is some kind of special guy, that's for sure. Stagger the Bombardier, Hope, before he bombardiers you. 
Now I can launch him. I'll just kick him in the face. They are actually all gunning for hope. Time to switch, kiddo. It's not going to prove me much of an issue, though. The only real issue I have is that I don't have any multi-target attacking ability currently. With snow. If I did, it'd be fairly easy to take out some of these guys right now. His overwhelming strength is just ridiculous. Very, very hard hits on these guys, that's for sure. Checking out the paradigms there. It'd be nice to have a uh, Ravager one for snow. And early death has thrown me just a little bit. I wasn't expecting the enemies to still be alive after the summon. Right then, we need a double Ravager. Put War and Peace further down. Actually, we put the Sentinel ones further down, because Sentinels are something we should only really have to use later on. Right, so we go Sentinel Medic is a fairly good one. Sentinel Synergist ain't bad either. The main thing I want is a Rav Rav. Oh, no, Rav Rav, sir, Rav Rav. So we can build chain gang gauges on certain people very, very fast. So we're going to go up the ice tunnels. There's no problem doing cardio up ice tunnels. I'm kind of tempted to go back down. Hope, stop complaining. We have Beefy McBeefington, the beefy beefy guy who can beef everyone to beefness. We got yet another guy to scan in the back there. We got a Psycom scanner. And he can buff, obviously, so he also needs to die early on. Is he weak to anything? Can we chain gauge him quickly enough? Yes, we can. If we go double Ravager, we should be able to stagger him next to him. Love how Hope takes the hits. I mean, the snow. I'm going to constantly mix up the two again. I can't believe that. I was doing this earlier in the playthrough. They're not even looking alike. And there's one now. We could use a sentinel roll to kind of keep people or keep people's HP up fairly high, but the battles themselves would take a hell of a lot longer if we did. Which one hell of an uppercut there, Snow. So we just keep fighting this way and just uppercut people into the sky and then kick them in the stomach in a really horrific manner. We just get through the battles faster. We just need to watch out for sentinels for stuff like the really big guy that we fought after the summon, the uh, the Belos Cycle. The Falco Belos Cycle, I think it was called. That guy needs to die as well, very, very fast. This might be time, in fact, to use something that's not going to cause us ultimate death and... Destruction, because uh, Sentinel might help us from. I mean, people are getting. We're getting beaten up. Hope he's going down in quite a nasty fashion right now. We should be able to heal himself up, and we should be able to take out one more problem. Thanks, Hope. I don't really need the healing, though, Hope. What you don't like me? Stop healing me. This is contradictory. I stagger this guy. Oh, Snow's getting lumped in the back there. I would lump him as well, though. If I could, if one guy could just uppercut me into the sky, I would be targeting that guy and trying to kill him as fast as possible. That would not be a nice landing. He just uppercuts them away. It always seems to be the last blow is the uppercut. Here we come. Just punch him in the head while he's up there. That's fine. 
Scream in pain, that's fine. Fight through waves and waves of these enemies. So we can go up here, I think, but treasure chest. Hidden behind special guy. This might be time to use something along the lines of building block. A turtle we just a little. Time to switch, kiddo. My warlord guy, attack me not hope. Everyone attack me not hope, basically. Alright, so while we get protect and well, we don't really need Actually we would shell would probably help. Seems we're stopping water attacking us. Ah, I guess that helps quite a bit, thinking about it. So what's the mana drive you're charging, sir? I do wonder. If I block it though, it's going to be fine. Okay, he has a lot of HP, delivers devastating physical attacks and powerful magic attacks. So as long as I'm... Oh, I think we actually blocked it. He just didn't do damage to us because we blocked it. Right, time to kill the small fry. Yeah, we're going all out on you now. Time for the uppercut, Doom. I'm going to let you fall back down. Oh, I should have let him fall back down the uppercut him again. We need to kill this guy, Hope. Help me out. Oh, he's going for Hope quite nastily here. Let me kill this. Oh, okay, I've got you on a war and peace stratagem. Later. And the big spell comes down, but we dodge it no problem. Or at least we take the damage without issue. <laughs> he starts on hope straight away as soon as we change back. That boy does not get a lot of luck, that's for sure. Alright, so the aim is now to stagger this guy. And then uppercut him into the sky, of course. One of our favourite things to do. Gut punch after gut punch, but we're sending you into the flying man, fly! That kick seems just a bit too vicious, to be honest. Depends on the positioning of the enemy where it ends up, but it's just like, right through it. Amazing he doesn't go higher in the sky. Well, we're not actually dealing that much damage to him, strangely enough. It's only about a quarter HP bar every round. In the sky with you again. Oh, we nearly got him before he did. Quick, kill him! How about this? Yes. Just too easy. Too easy, he says. It took a long time to knock him down. We only got four star, in fact. We get a treasure chest, though. Secondary rewards. Secondary rewards. A vial of Fortisol. And a bit more experience for. Whoa. A fair bit more for snow, at the very least. Too bad we can't use it. More HP. Seeming hope actually seems to have some kind of death warrant now. And everyone seems to go for him as a kind of, oh, you should be using Sentinel. We're going to give him more HP. Will we get to slide down, I wonder? That's what I want to know. We're sliding down a slide and going, wee as we go. That's what we're doing. Or we're fighting these guys, one or the other. Kill the scavenger, he buffs people, he's nasty. How about this? It's all about teamwork. They're beating up on hope yet again. <laughs> to be honest though, what I said earlier about beating up on the guy who does the strange uppercuts to send me flying, it definitely makes sense to take on the one that looks obviously weaker. And that definitely is hope. Oh, there's no point in this strategy. Slash and burn's probably better. How about this? The snow does so much damage that we don't really need to stagger those guys to kill them. He lumps away with his fists at them.
So there's a monster up there, and a load of monsters along a pathway this way. Which way are we heading? Is there a treasure chest down here? Because that looks important up there. I'm kind of slightly confused about where to go next. I don't want to trigger a cutscene, but I want to get every single treasure chest. Ah, treasure chest here. Is that a scavenger in the back? No, it's a bombardier. We need to stagger this guy as fast as possible. Time to switch, kiddo. As soon as we get him staggered, I hope we can try to keep you alive with War and Peace and just go for launches. We don't need to use War and Peace just yet, so I'll use you to do some more damage. Then kick this guy in the face! Building blocks! Thanks, Hope! Provoke them all! Hey guys! You hate me, yeah? I'll just block all your damage, it's fine. I got this. Yeah, look. Completely useless now. Meanwhile, all my guys are getting buffed up. Keep trying, guys. Hope we can restore his HP. I'm blocking absolutely everything. Now it's time to come out the turtling mode. Teach some of you a lesson. Even Hope can tank these guys now with his buffs on. The bar of water helps quite a lot. They can try to cast as many spells as they like on us, but we're just going to go, meh, shrug it off. Doesn't matter having D shell or not. Just too easy. Indeed. Made my fist into his mouth. Oh, and he full star again. Failing, failing. More treasure chests though. Paladin. So that should be a new weapon for snow. So it actually is down on all my stats as a funny thing, but it gives improved guard, which is slightly enhanced the effectiveness of many guard and still guard. So I would actually rather go without it. For now, anyway. You're actually coming down, Hope. You know, it's kind of even a ground down here. It's not the risk of slipping to your death. When you're missing slipping to your death, it's generally a good thing. Oh, the big guy's here no as well. <laughs> Kill this predator off as fast as possible then. We may have to go into a sentinel build as fast as possible, thinking about it. Get killed! Die, die, die! Let's see if we can kill one of these trank effects before going into a defensive paradigm. So if we can get rid of the small guys around him. Should be getting healed up, yes. We should be able to take this attack, really. The heals added on from Hope. It was no problem at all. So now, guy, we're coming for you. We've got enough HP to tank anything you can throw at us, so we're going to go for the stagger and the punch in the air combo. Now for the stagger, a quick bit of stagger gauge gaining. And now the launch. Fly guy, fly! And again, send him up. How about this? Fill me up that stagger gauge, hope. I need to do more damage on each attack round. Go try for the kill on this one again, but it might be a bit close yet again. Yes, we're not going to get to finish him this time. But 
two attacks should be able to do. No. Oh, you're a beast. You keep taking the damage no problem at all. I feel like I'm stupidly weak next to you. Five star though, no problem. A Rotocrozite, in fact. So that's a quite nice item to pick up there. And somewhere to fall down. Don't know what's in it. Ooh, treasure chests. Treasure. Four lengths of insulated cabling. Probably not the most exciting thing we've ever picked up in our lives, but... Anyway, guys, I'm going to end there. the episode here. We're almost there indeed. Looks like some more frozen stage going on down there, but we're going to explore it next episode. Thanks for watching. Tune in next time, and I'll see you guys around.